Hi guys! In today's video we will talk about LCMS. What is it? What is it used for? And how to use it? If you're interested, keep on watching. Let's get started! It stands for Liquid Chromatography Mass Spectrometry. It's an analytical chemistry technique in which uh, combines an HPIC with an MS instrument. Mass spectrometry is a test method in which ionized particles are separated according to their specific gravity using reduced pressure, electric or magnetic fields. But how to actually use it? Well, we will walk through an example to make sure that everyone has the whole picture. The first thing you should do is to make a sample. We measured the sample containing myoglobin protein into an Eppendorf, then centrifugated it, then we injected it to a vial. It's important to check that the sample is gas-free and it's completely dissolved. Any bubble in the sample can disturb the smooth operation of the pump and uh, if uh, any um, solid particles remain in the sample, it can clog the column. Here you can see the device that was used during the measurements. As you can see, the LCMS instrument is made up from different parts. The basic components of an LC unit consist of uh, a pump, which delivers the mobile threads at a required flow rate, an outer sample, which injects the sample, a column for the separation of the sample, and a detector for the analysis of the separated components in the sample. For chromatography column, the C18 stationary phase is the most common one, but we replaced the column before measurement and used a C4 reverse phase column instead. The solvents are usually acetonitrile, water on their mixtures. The main function of the detector is to measure the instantaneous concentration of the components in the aluant. There's a handful of detectors out there. In this case, we use the PDA detector, which measures the absorbance of the aluant. We measure the protein with the UV lamp at two different wavelengths. After the LC, here is the mass spectrometer we measured with. It contains an ion source that ionizes the sample, in this case an electrospray ionizator. ASC is a soft ionization method. When the analyte eludes from the LC column, the ASC atomizes it in atmospheric pressure and we get the charged ions in a gas phase. To use mass spectrometer, we always need a gas state. This is where the charged ions are formed, which are later detected. Then there's a mass analyzer unit that separates the ions based on their mass to charge the ratio. We use time of flight as an analyzer. The TOF mass analyzer accelerates ionized sample particles as a beam or by reflection toward the detector. With this method, uh, we can select the path length. Uh, we can choose out of two options, the V and the W mode. The W mode is twice as long as the V one. You should put the vial into an available place on the tray, fill out the table with the information needed, then you can start running the sequence. The time it takes depends on the method you work with. After it's done, you can evaluate the result by checking the graphs, so you will get a more clear view of what components are in your sample. And finally, as you can see, here is our total ion chromatogram. As you can see in the spectra, there is a peak at 7.43. Uh, this is our protein, the myoglobin. There is a lot of other peaks. It came from the contaminants. I hope that it was useful and if you have any questions, you can ask us in the comments. And uh, subscribe if you haven't done so yet and if you want to see more chemistry related videos. Bye! Bye.